I have owned the Trespass Rustler Down Puffy Jacket for quite some time now, so I thought I'd show you everything about it and give you all of my thoughts. Let's go. Hello fellow hiker and world traveller, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Okay, in this video I'm going to go over all of the specs, the features and the things that I liked as well as some of the things that I didn't like so much, but first let's go over the pricing. I strolled into a trespass shop in Swindon about nine months ago and I saw this jacket and it was 40 quid in a sale down from £160. I don't know how true these sales are, sometimes it's so ridiculous at how cheap they mark things down in these sales too, so whether or not this thing was actually 160 quid in the first place is a complete different matter. Now we've talked about some of the pricing, let's go over some of the specs. The shell is made out of 100% polyamide woven material, the lining is exactly the same and the filling is 90% down and 10% feather. I assume that that's basically really kind of light down feathers and then you've got kind of normal feathers kind of mixed in, maybe that brings the price down. Uh, I don't know what that does to the weight. Actually, in terms of weight, I can't find the exact weight of this jacket anywhere online. I think it's because of all the different sizing options that you can get, but I would say this probably weighs in somewhere between 300 to 400 grams. I've taken this jacket out uh, throughout the summer, so it's been really good. If it gets a little bit chilly here in the summer in England, uh, and also I've taken it around Snowdonia and Wales in some pretty cold conditions as well, and it's kept me very warm. So as a filling, the down and the feather combination of this jacket has been pretty good. Now we've gone over some of the specs, let's go over some of the features. This jacket has elasticated cuffs on both of the arms as well as an elasticated strap around the waist. It has a full length zipper that goes all the way from your waist to the top of your neck which is pretty warm. It's not as snug a fit as my brand new Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. I will put a link up here in the corner as well as the description below so that you can go and check out my full review of my Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie when it's online. It's got two zippy pockets on the front as well as two pockets on the inside so you can keep quite a few belongings as well as keeping your hands warm inside those pockets as well. The hood is pretty good, it comes all the way up and the zipper is pretty snug as well. Uh, it's not the most snug fit of a jacket that I've tried, but it's pretty good. I do find though that the uh, top of the hood actually starts to come down a little bit, so maybe a cap or some different stitching would have been good. So it does start to cover your eyes a little bit if it gets a bit windy and it will get in the way of your vision. But uh, apart from that, it's a pretty good hood. The stitching on this thing is pretty good, but the baffling is a little bit wide and it actually starts to allow the down to uh, kind of clump up a little bit and lose little bits of insulation and you have kind of patches of insulation. If I hold it up to the light, you'll be able to see, you can actually see through the stitching a little bit and the insulation has kind of moved around and it just stops the jacket being so warm, uh, especially if it gets a little bit damp. This is not a waterproof jacket by any means. It's not meant to be used as an active layer. So if you're gonna be using this and you think it's going to start raining, then I would whip on your waterproof breathable shell of whichever that might be, uh, just to stop the rain getting to it. Okay, so we've talked about the pricing, the specs and the features. Let's go over some of the things that I really liked about this jacket. The first thing that I really loved about this jacket is of course the price for 40 pounds in a sale. You can't really go wrong. This thing for its weight is incredibly warm and uh, it's done me very well over the last few months. The fit is quite good for me. I'm five foot seven with an 18 inch torso and I got this in a medium. It's not a bad fit. It's a little bit floppy and a little bit big. The arms are a little bit too long and the hood isn't a very snug fit. But again, for the price, you can't go wrong. The zipper on this thing is really good. It's really easy to take on and off. You just slip it in and it doesn't get caught. It's a really good zipper. Uh, it doesn't get caught in any way shape or form and it hasn't failed on me once. I really quite like these little tassels that are on the ends of the zippers on each of the pockets so if it's really cold you're not going to be using your numb fingers to try and take those up and down so that's really good as well. And the last thing that I really like about this jacket is that it packs down very very well. I could just shove it amongst all the other things in my pack taking up all the negative space. It's a very lightweight very packable jacket. Okay now we've talked about some of the things that I really liked about this jacket let's talk about the things that I didn't like so much. Okay so the first thing about this jacket that I didn't like so much is probably the fact that if it gets wet in any way the down inside it actually stinks to high heaven like a wet dog I can smell it now I've got it slightly wet when it just started to rain and I hadn't quite put on my waterproof shell yet and uh, I just can't get rid of the smell I've dried it out for ages left it hanging up in the airing cupboard and this thing still smells when you buy it brand new it doesn't smell at all but as soon as you get this thing wet and after a few uses this thing starts to stink. The next thing that I really don't like about this jacket, and I know it's down, and of course it's always a given with down uh, insulating equipment, but uh, if this thing gets slightly damp, even in like moist conditions, if the air's slightly moist, uh, this thing loses its loft incredibly quickly, and it starts going all lumpy, and it loses its warmth quite a bit 
very quickly. So uh, if you're gonna buy this jacket or any other kind of down insulation equipment, then I highly recommend that you keep it as dry as you possibly can. Even in just humid conditions as well, in the summer, if the air was quite humid and a bit moist, uh, this jacket would just soak up all the moisture from the atmosphere and it would just lose its loft even in the summer. So I'd end up having to dry this out in the morning anyway. Uh, so yeah, not very good in the wet conditions at all. If you know you're gonna be hiking in humid conditions or that it's going to be raining at all, then I definitely would recommend getting more of a synthetic jacket, unless you're very, very skillful at keeping your down equipment dry. Some of the stitching has started to come a little bit loose just over here as well. And a little bit of the down's kind of coming out. Again, this is a cheap jacket, I was expecting it. It has actually held up very well. It's been through a few little scrapes and little bumps and it hasn't got any holes in it. It's quite durable in terms of its build quality. So it's not a bad jacket at all. Overall, this is a very good jacket for its price. Of course it is down, so you've got to keep this thing dry. Um, and it does actually stink to high heaven after a few uses in moist conditions. But, uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with 40 quid. This jacket is perfect for the hiker who is on a budget and they're looking for a down insulated jacket. That's going to keep them warm at camp at night. It's good for a hiker who knows that they're gonna be hiking in drier conditions and that they want to uh, lighten their load and make sure that they have a jacket that's really packable to keep their pack size really small. I do have my new Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie, uh, but I will definitely still be keeping this as a spare. Uh, and if I'm going out in some really cold conditions, I could probably even wear both. So it's uh, still a good jacket and one that I'm going to keep using. Okay folks, campfire question, do you own a Trespass Rustler jacket? Let us know in the comments section below. We'd really love to hear your thoughts if you own it or if you have a down jacket of a similar size or if you have a down jacket that you think is better for a cheaper price or the same price, then do let us know. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it and I'll see you in the next one.